your cabinets. I say that lightly because you want to be careful when steaming any wood surfaces because the high temperature and the humidity can hurt the wood over time. So what we are going to do is we have the jet nozzle with the concentration tip. We are going to turn the steam down to the very lowest setting. So twist this the whole way to the minus till it stops. We're gonna spray out any accumulated water. And you see how that's just a very, very light steam. Okay, so then we are going to take our steam and do not put it very close to the cabinets. I would say a couple inches away, just so the steam coats it and can wet any, you know, sticky messes like here. You can see probably some toothpaste from kids. Okay, so we're gonna start. Okay, and now I'm going to wipe this off with a microfiber towel and I will be right back. Okay, so I wiped it off. As you can see, the spots that were there are now gone. It's very clean. And you can see on the rag the dirt that it did pick up off of the cabinets. So you could really just call this a wet dusting because you're not really steaming your cabinets. You don't want to steam your cabinets unless you know for a fact that the wood has been sealed. Um, I'm not a wood expert, <laughs> but I have heard that you can tell wood is sealed is that if it has a glossy finish to it. Okay, I'm gonna have to get the under part. Now you can also do baseboards in the same fashion. You know, just spraying it like this and then wiping away the dirt. Another way is to put a bristle brush on the end of this and then covering the bristle brush, bristle brush with a microfiber towel and then clipping it like I've showed in another video of mine. I believe that was the kitchen sink. And then you can go over it with a hot towel like that on the baseboards as well too. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed. For cabinets, I say that lightly because you want to be careful when steaming any wood surfaces because the high temperature and the humidity can hurt the wood over time. So what we are going to do is 